Hi everyone, I've been asked a lot about this option on Zoom which has the virtual background and particularly an option that says green screen and a lot of people want to know what that is. So the virtual background, well that doesn't necessarily work on all devices or all computers. There is a list on the Zoom website so some people have said that they can't find it on their computer or their device. So there's a link below that takes you to their page that has that compatibility on it. So I'm going to break this down into two videos. One is I'm going to show you the green screen, the one I use and how I set that up and also potentially other background. And another video to show you the settings actually on the computer, which will be similar on a device as well. So the thing about the green screen is what they use for things like weather forecasts where you see things superimposed behind them. You might be aware they use it for special effects for movies as well where they want different backgrounds. So the reason people want different backgrounds on Zoom is they're at home and they don't want their background there which might be messy or they just don't want people to see it and it just might look a bit better. So it comes with some built-in backgrounds but you can also use your own. You could take a photograph of something you like and use it there as well. So what I've got to get started, and this is not the only option, you can just get a green screen, which could just be a green cloth, preferably a particular type of green. So the trick to it is you want it to be as even as possible, as nicely lit as possible, um, although you're not gonna possibly have lighting and things like that. So this is what I use. Okay, so I've got a lighting stand here and we're just going to quickly pop that up so let's just do that and i'm going to just let's raise that up so with all of these things a little trick on safety keep this leg on the heavier side because obviously if it's going to tip forward it's not going to tip forward as easily i also have a sandbag which is down here which i'm going to use as well um, you know you've kind of got an unusual type of job when you've got a sandbag to help hold down your equipment. So let's just pop that there. I then have this neat thing here. This is made by a company called Lastalite. Um, they make all sorts of screens and lighting things. I'm going to put that on here. And what makes this simple and easy for me is that it's got magnets here, pretty strong magnets. So whatever you do, make sure you don't get these near your credit cards. Um, your devices, any memory sticks or hard drives. So I just screw that on there and then I'm just going to raise that up to a decent height. Okay, so there we go. So you don't have to get these things from last night, but I think they're not bad. Is that still in the shot there? Mate? Let's get that in the shot. Let's just make sure that's in there. Right. I've got two backgrounds here. This one in this bag, you can see these all fold up neat, is one that has got a white side and a black side, which is also good for backgrounds. I use these when I have to go out filming. And in this one, I've got the green screen. Okay, so this is bigger, so it's in a bigger bag. These fold down pretty neatly. Let's get that out of the plastic bag that's in there. Let's just throw that down there. I would normally be a lot tidier with all of this. So this just opens up, okay, right, and let me just get that out, sorry, I'm working in a limited space here because I've got the cameras and everything, and the great thing is, look at this, that's magnet, magnetic, this has got a steel rim around it, so that just connects up like that, and I could raise that up a bit, but that's resting on the ground, it doesn't have to. For safety, I might actually put this, this sandbag here, this has just got sand inside it, and I would put that over one of the legs to stop it tipping over. I don't need to do it on this occasion. So that is this one. So the nice thing about it is because it springs open, it, and I'm going to throw that over the side there, it, it just makes it flat because it stretches out, and then I can easily just fold this up and Put that away so this is the green screen that's what they're talking about when you see that on the zoom videos and as i said it's because people want a neat background and this just makes it work a lot better which you're going to see in a moment 
Let me just show you the other backgrounds because if you haven't got a, uh, the option because of your device to use the virtual background, then you could potentially do this. Let me just drop this down. I'd normally just fold this away, but let's just get this out of the way here. We're going to come back to that in a moment. And this is the other alternative thing that you might want to do, which is just to have a black or a white background. If you're doing this for work, you might find this a lot easier. So, and all you're really looking for is something not distracting, like that plastic bag noise whilst I was unfolding it. So, as you can see, it's got two sides. There's the white, there's the black. Let's go for the white. And once again, it just clips into there. Let me just move that out. And I could have it going the other way. So you can imagine I use this for video backgrounds, photography backgrounds, and things like that. So the green is great for video if you want to put in a different background. But here's the thing, it's not so good for photography. If you want to get rid of the background in photography, you want a gray background. Any neutral background actually will work, including this white. Believe it or not, white is actually hard to make it look white. There's lots of videos out there if you're doing photography and you want a white background to make it look white. So that would also come out gray. You can probably see it actually it looks gray here. So that's what the green screen background is all about. Let's just take a look at how it works in the next video, actually how it works in Zoom.